I grew up on blues and roots music. In my circle of friends, you know, John Mayall was just the tops. Sometimes you just walk in down the street with them and you realize you know, what this is really about when people stop and they're like, oh my God. It's like, yeah, of course. Walking down the street with John Mayall. John was, was, you know, right up there with, with all, you know, the veterans like B.B. and Buddy and John Lee Hooker and Muddy. I mean, we just, I, some of those early records with Clapton and Peter Green and Mick Taylor are just, you know, as, I think as good as anything in the blues. I respect him a lot and I cherish the fact that I'm here and uh, playing with one of my early musical heroes, so a bit surreal at times, but no, you know, I worked hard to get here. Nice. That was it. Yeah. 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 The band leader picks out the musicians who he thinks can best reflect what he wants to say in music. And he knows what we have to offer, so that's, I think that's how he chooses his guys, and uh, when you get the chemistry together, that's where it all comes together. I am the lead player with John Mayall. Have been working on my seventh year. He puts a, he puts a band together in his head, you know, what, what's going to work, and... He made me feel very comfortable when he said, uh, just be yourself, that's kind of why I hired you. It's like, oh yeah. <laughs> I've never uh, had musicians in the band who have said, okay, I've chosen you, I want you to play this. You know, I've chosen musicians because of what they uh, bring to the table. I started with the rest of the guys exactly six years ago. We're starting our seventh year of touring together and uh, our third album. You'll take the tempo that they're playing and we'll see how that works and usually I will or John will or Greg will say it needs to be faster, it needs to be slower than the original so right off the bat usually has a lot more my personality than the personality of the drummer who played it originally well not without losing the entire groove when I hear your voice you'll know it ease my worried mind is this, is this, is that a little faster than we just did? No, it's faster than we yeah. were playing. Yeah, you've got to take it back. Take it's it back. back. It's too fast. Can't do that. I think John just likes to cover basses whether he wrote the song or not. He likes to have certain moods and certain movements on his album. And and on this one in particular, I think there is, there's a very distinct evolution. John says, you know, I love the way you play bass. Do what you want because I always enjoy your contribution, so uh, feel free to add your own flavor. So, so you know, by the time we get to it, it might be barely recognizable from the original. Okay, but I really like the way you got this motif right? going now. Right, it's great. That's that's the motif, and I do like it on this. It sounds cool. We we're playing a song called uh, "Rivers Invitation" by Percy Mayfield. It was, you know. Nice track, bass part was fine, but I knew that there was something special missing that I was looking for that I wanted to capture. I said, you know, can we take five minutes? I, I just want to, you know, let things go for a minute and clear my thoughts, because there's something, I know there's something special somewhere, but I am not really sure what it is. Gary Bells, the studio owner, saw him walking around. There was a knock on the window and he, he held up a bass and he says, come and come and get this thing. Walked out with this beautiful Rickenbacker fretless bass. You know what? Give me that thing. And I got it, ran down here, tuned it up, plugged it in, and there it was. There was that special bass line that I was looking for. And then just in one take laid down a killer line that really kind of glued it all together. It's been about three years since I put the fretless bass, Johnny. 
Uh -huh. What happened there was we really, Greg and I really had to develop a new pocket, especially after John changed the key. Now when we were playing it in the old key, it felt like the old, the recording to me. But once we changed the key, then it had to find a life of its own. It did really find a new life. I really liked where it wound up being. It, but because we play together so so much and so successfully, the rapport is, is, you know, perhaps better than any band I've ever had, you know. Once we reached that, that, that point where, okay, now it's grooving, you can always tell because John will start kind of bouncing a little bit and it's like, okay, that's, that might be working a little better than what we were doing earlier, so. You know, I think that if you, you the point is of playing with, with the band you have is to have their own personalities reflected in the music. It, it's a, it's definitely, you work together to, to find, to find that new place where it has to live so that everybody's happy. Sometimes when someone doesn't know the red light is on, they relax and something special can happen. So Rocky said, uh, you know, when you're taking your break, can you just play the song and I'll work on it. I was going to take a break because I've kind of been, I'm the, I'm the guy who never gets a break because i got to be there when everyone's recording. And so I just started playing, just listening in the headsets for levels and my sound. Rocky didn't think that the red light was on and he did a take and, and John just flipped out. John came in and he goes, that's the one, that's the one to keep. And then Eric goes, I did hit the record button. So we went in and listened to it. For me, that's gonna always have a special moment to it because it caught me by surprise, which was really cool. I think everybody wants the record to be as good as it can be. And when we just kind of put our egos aside, and just uh, are excited to just be working together and collaborating to make, you know, something as good as we can. When everyone has that spirit, I think the results uh, are the best. And it's the most fun working that way as well.